All right, rolling through the ECG course. This is lesson 23, and there's only 32 in the course. So we're getting close. We're still in level one. So a lot more to come in level two and level three. But here we are in the rhythm interpretation unit, the real meat and potatoes. The reason you got in this class is to interpret these rhythms. And we've worked our way through the stepwise approach, and we've preached a sermon about that and keep emphasizing it. We did sinus and then atrial. Now let's do paced rhythms real quick. There's not a lot to tell you here. There's all kinds of pacemakers out there. If you want to be a geek, you can figure out all the various nuances of the pacemakers. Mrs. Smith doesn't really care that you know that. Um, some of these pacers watch the atria and see if they're working. And they provide an atrial pulse if the atria is not working. Some of them watch the ventricle and see if the ventricle is working. They provide a ventricular pulse if the ventricle is not working. Some of them watch both. Those are pretty common. The QRS is going to be wide and scary. But you should be able to see the pacer spike. Do you see the pacer spike? It's a very narrow, vertical, complex or wave right before the great big wide QRS complex. Pacer spikes are visible in some leads better than others, but it should be a very narrow and uh, vertical spike. Sometimes tall like that, sometimes shorter like the ones down below. And if you think about a 12 lead EKG, there's dividing lines between the leads. There's a, a dividing line on the paper between where lead one stops and lead AVR starts. And sometimes if you're not careful and diligent, you'll think those dividing lines are pacer spikes. That is not an uncommon uh, confusing point. But should be, wide, uh, should be narrow pacer spike followed by a wide QRS. You can also have PVCs that jump in there. Nobody said you couldn't have PVCs, so they will show up sometimes. Here's some examples of pacer spikes. In the bottom one, you can see that there are two. There's one for the atria and one for the ventricles. So that pacer is set up to watch for native atrial activity if there isn't any to make it and then to watch your ventricular activity if there isn't any then to make it happen so these are generated by implanted pacemakers here's some more look at pacemaker spikes a couple of pictures of what a pacemaker looks like in some spots where they go they're not always um, on the same side you should be able to feel them under the skin some of them are pacemakers and defibrillators Others are simply just pacers. Um, when you get the, the uh, PDF of this, you can click on that video if you want to watch more. Pacer spikes are what you're looking for. It is a paced rhythm. And here's some more geeky stuff for the various types. Obviously, people can specialize in this, and that's great. But in the field, either the pacer is present and working, or it's not working. And that's what we're looking for. It's not necessarily key to Mrs. Smith's care that you understand exactly the type of pacer that she has.